Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Thank goodness. How are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this, isn't it? Pray, save your thanks. Tis only just that I should aid you in turn. After all, tis only by your courage that I live today. Had you not leapt between me and that dragon? I know you suffered for it. Such ghastly wounds. And I could not hear your heart beating. It was arisen. I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated, though I've Has he come for you? We are to part so soon, then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then, take care. Arisen. Ere since the reign of Rathais, the founder of Vermund, the village of Malv has played an indispensable role in the defense of our kingdom against the dragon. Yet twice now, as the dragon set upon this village, inflicting numerous casualties, before being allowed to flee, the fault here lies with you, Ser Ulrika. You have failed in your duty as acting chief. With all due respect, Sir Martin, our village has dispatched many of its young hands to the northern stronghold since its completion. Was it not the former consul who decreed that the stronghold should serve to defend the kingdom? With Malv offering aid only where needed? Yet the stronghold has remained entirely silent to our plight. How can you say that the fault is ours to bear? I know of no such agreement. At the very least, Queen Regent Deesa has mentioned naught of the kind. But I'm quite sure the consul... You would dare misrepresent the words of the dead? Or do you mean to imply that the Queen Regent has spoken falsely? If so, then Melv's problems ran far deeper than I had thought. Tis not indolence that has taken root here, but treason! The village entire will answer for this! What? I intended nothing of the sort. Pray, let us... Save your honeyed words, traitor! You came to see me. Forgive me, I've much to ponder. Still, how would you like to stay the night? I've yet to repay you for aught you've done for me. A small show of hospitality is surely the least I can do. It was by your godly efforts that Malv escaped the worst of the dragon's assault. The people of this village are more precious to me than life itself. To lose them, would have been the end of me. You have my 
earnest gratitude, friend. I wanted to tell you that, if not else. Now, it is time we slept. There is much to be done for the village, and I shan't manage it without a good night's sleep. I heard what transpired. Thank you for fighting on my people's behalf. You cannot imagine my relief when I beheld that everyone had made it out unharmed. Say, would you visit me again when this night has fallen? There's aught I would show you. a strange thing. I ne'er knew how vast the sky was till I left Mel behind. Time and again you have come to my aid. Would that I could repay you in some way. Unless there is little I have to offer. Yet, if your heart e'er aches for a place to call home, then may this village no, not the village. If ever you're in need of a hearth to return to, then let it be mine. Well now. You're... What is it? Has something happened? Uh, we have it on good authority that a suspicious individual passed through here. We need to scale the area. I'll scale the right. In here. Open up. Dressed rather austerely for a patron. My humblest apologies, Lady Wilhelmina. We've had reports of an unseemly character in the vicinity, you see, and... Preposterous. I was out front till but a moment ago, and I did not see so much as a shadow. Be that as it may. You are excused. Leave this place. Ere you invite our noble host's wrath upon yourself, I will summon you if aught is amiss. Pray forgive me. And what business have you here in the noble's playground? Hmm? Huh? You've the face of someone in search of a juicy morsel. Would you be looking for this, perchance? Come on, then. Keep pouring. Do you take me for some green lad who can't handle his cups? I'm your damned king, and a king deserves royal treatment. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your majesty. Tell us, your majesty, would you prefer more drink, or shall we find some other way to amuse ourselves? <laughs> aye, aye. Let's change things up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I believe I cautioned you to keep your drunken revelry in check. Lest you forget, these celebrations of your valor are but a pretense for more serious matters. I, I know. I do. It's just I get the poison in me and things happen is all. You need only serve as our false king until Sven becomes consul. Till then, however, you would do well to remember that your role demands a certain degree of dignity. I trust you understand your position, your majesty. Nay, I, I mean I. As you say, I'll, I'll go and sober up. Why not remove yours as well? This is not the masquerade hall, and we now find ourselves quite alone. What say we dispense with such pretenses and speak openly with one another? Lord Phasus. That 
That will do. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here, I wonder? If you came to learn of the Sovereign, then tis as you have seen. The man is not but a ale-swilling pretender propped up by the Queen Regent. Of course, that begs the question. If he's a mere mummer, then where might our true arisen be? You'd best go. I'll do what I can to help you make your escape. Well, we meet again. Is this stealthy business becoming a habit of yours? Oi! Who goes there? Who's there? Tut, tut. Now, this just won't do. How's a lady supposed to work with all these interruptions? Oh, it is you, Lady Wilhelmina. Mm hmm. Do excuse us. We thought to enjoy a little fresh air. Though. We had hoped for slightly more privacy, if you catch my meaning. Apologies, my lady. But may I ask the name of your companion? Are you sure it would be wise? Such knowledge has been known to cost a man his head. Uh, understood, my lady. If anyone asks, I shall say I saw naught. A narrow escape. You should count yourself lucky that he was so easily flustered. Is that all you have to say for your- It is sweet of you to mind your manners, but such niceties won't get you far with me. Something tells me this shan't be the last I see of you. Perhaps you'll be good enough to repay me when next we meet. Off you go now. My sincerest, Lady Wilhelmina is attending. Have you given the matter some more thought, Wilhelmina? I would have no other as my personal courtesan. I want you all to myself. When I imagine you in the arms of another, my heart feels apt to rend itself from my breast. Allard, pray forgive me, but I think it would be best for you to leave. We can discuss this matter another time. But why? We've only just... I am attending to a burden that all women must bear. I trust I need not elaborate further. I did not take you for the voyeuristic type. Why don't you come in? You have my thanks. Had I not noticed your presence, I might have slain him there and then. Tis no jest. You see, everything I've done these past few years has been leading up to this. I am here to kill him. But I cannot simply end his life, oh no. I must first expose his misdeeds. Only then will I allow myself to grant him the miserable end he... Or so I'd sworn. But I've yet to find a single shred of evidence. Perhaps the time has come to surrender this crusade. You would lend me your aid. But I've done nary a thing to earn it. 
and recall that I've devoted years of my life to his pursuit with naught to show for my troubles. If the proof I seek yet exists, I suppose there is truly naught I can do save deliver him a gruesome dim. Still, if you insist upon searching for three days, I shall wait patiently, though not with bated breath. At last. It feels like an age has passed since... What is this? Who are you? Don't let him escape. Get your hands off me, you fiend! Don't you know who I am? Oh, you hang for this impudence! Oh, Allard. I've always wanted to see you like this. That voice... Wilhelmina! But why? Why would you...? Do you still fail to recall? Even with this mask staring you in the face? But I suppose for a man such as you, a little murder, here or there, is hardly worth remembering. What mockery is this? Oh. In your youth, you slew two individuals. The merchant whom you served... ...and his wife. They had a child, as I am sure you are aware. A newborn babe who was spirited away by her loyal wet nurse. You mean to tell me you were their child? But how can this be? Your mother, she was a beastrum. Surely her child would be one as well. A fair assumption. But for better or worse, I didn't take after my mother. Save for in one respect. This is for my mother. And this is for my father. has come for all your sins to come to light, Allard. Mr. Allard? Did something happen? Han We've been noticed. I suppose a scream that hideous was bound to attract some attention. We can't leave the way we came in. Fortunately, there's a window here. You have done what you set out to do, I trust. Then come- I think it would be best for us to make our- Should we both make it out of this unfettered? Let us meet at the Myrmacolian on the morrow. Till then. Always sets me to think. Thank you. I finally achieved my purpose here, and I owe it all to you. It would seem the residents of the palace have chosen to treat Allard's untimely passing as an accident. I imagine they deemed it safer not to make a fuss of the incident after perusing the evidence you uncovered for me. Shrewd as a den of foxes. <laughs> I'll give them that. I truly cannot thank you enough. But I want to try. Just this once, I'll give you something special. I'll grant unto you the sweetest of dreams. I know not what I would do without you. You have my thanks, 
but it's time to say farewell for now. Just know that my bordelry will e'er be your haven, should you have need of it. Joy.